In this video, I'll explain the latest Facebook ad campaign objectives and when is the right time to use each one. Now, by the end of this video, you're going to know the purpose of each objective within Facebook ads manager and which one to use for different key business scenarios, whether you're running an e-com store, whether you're doing lead generation, or if you have a local business. Now, before we actually go through each one of these, I first want to show you two different types of key advertiser scenarios to help you better understand which one you are and what objectives are going to be most important. So from my perspective, there's two types of Facebook advertisers. Number one, which I believe most people probably watching this are, are performance only focused. And the second one is branding and performance advertisers. Now the difference is that performance only would be someone who's looking to drive conversions from customers who are in market ready to buy your product or your service right now. Now the other type is advertisers who not only want to do performance marketing but they also have brand specific goals meaning they want to create maybe awareness of a new product line maybe they want to increase consideration for people to buy their services who might not be ready to buy it now but maybe three months six months ten months down the line potentially will be ready to buy maybe they want to seed younger audiences so this could be a brand that maybe they're selling a product or service that people need to really think about this for a couple of years Think, think about like a car purchase, for example, or another thing would be to increase the qualification of your prospects through educating them. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because if you are part of group A, some of the objectives we're going to cover, you know, aren't going to be that important to you. So I'm going to try to only focus in those key objectives, but I want you to be aware that there's other reasons that there's other objectives that you might not be using, but are actually really useful to a lot of advertisers on Facebook. All right, so as you can see, there's over 11 objectives that Facebook ads has for when you're running your campaign. And you also have the option to do an auction campaign or a reach and frequency. For 99% of the people watching this, you're gonna wanna do an auction campaign. You're not gonna wanna do a reach and frequency. And I'll get into what that is a little bit later. Now, the main campaign type you're gonna focus on, the main objective is gonna be conversions. What this does is basically it allows Facebook's algorithm to find people that are most likely to take an action on your website, whether that's to buy a product or service if you have an e-com store, or whether that is to submit a lead if you are a B2B business and doing lead generation via your website where someone can submit information. Now, most people are gonna wanna spend most of the time and energy here uh, because this is what's gonna be most impactful. Now, for a small group of you guys watching, Catalog sales is going to be important, and that is if you have an e-com website where you have a lot of products. And I don't mean five products or eight products. I'm talking about like 25, 50, 75, 100, 5,000, 10,000. Because what happens is with catalog sales, it's, it's very similar to a conversion campaign. The algorithm is going to optimize for someone to take an action within the website. The only difference is that you unlock the capability to do two things, particularly with catalog sales that you can't do with conversion campaigns, which is from a retargeting perspective, you have dynamic product ads, which basically the products that the that the prospects saw on your website will be dynamically retargeted so they could see those in ads and are more likely to come back and buy. So that's something you can do with catalog sales that you cannot do with conversion campaigns. The other thing is called DABA, dynamic ads for broad audiences. It's another targeting feature where Facebook will show ads to people who are searching, are going to different websites and are searching for similar products. And you don't even have to target these with interest or behavior. So it's really cool, it's very advanced. That is the fundamental difference from a catalog sales optimization objective versus a conversion. Now, again, most people are going to want to use conversions. Other objectives that might be very important is if you're trying to get leads, but your website is not that great, or if you want to test, you could use the native lead gen form that Facebook has to get somebody to submit a lead within the platform without leaving Facebook. And this could be great if you're just starting up and you don't have the best website in the world. Now, I'd imagine that most people, like 90 plus percent, are gonna probably stick to conversion campaigns. There'll be a small group of people who catalog sales make sense if you have an e-com store with a lot of products, but here's a few others that are probably very interesting for performance-based advertisers. So another one I like to use is messages. Now I use messages 
mainly for local businesses that are selling a product or service that's a little bit complicated and they don't have a great website. So it's kind of a similar use case to lead generation. And what I like to do is basically optimize for people to send me a message. And I've done this very successfully with a lot of clients where we'll create a direct response video. And at the end of the video, we say messages for details. And then that starts a one-on-one -on -one personalized conversation, or you can use the chat bot feature that Facebook has. So this is another very interesting objective that I like to use and have seen a lot of great results. Taking a quick break from this video to let you know that we just released our Facebook video ads cheat sheet that decodes the key elements of a video, of a high converting video for an e-com business. Make sure to check that out, grab it, it's for free. There's gonna be a link below in the description and without further ado, back to this video. Now, another one would be app installs. If you have an app and you're trying to get people to download the app and monetize them within the app. So that's another very important objective. And also with the iOS 14 update that's happening, I'd really recommend for you guys to stay top of mind with that topic. And I've actually made a video on this topic that I'll link you guys, you know, right here in this video too. Now I would say most of the people are probably just gonna use those, those objectives for performance. Maybe like 1% of the people watching this would consider store traffic. Now store traffic makes sense when you have a physical store, but you have multiple physical stores. And what you can do is you can optimize for the people most likely to come into your store. Now Facebook has a ton of data signals that they can use from the Wi-Fi of your location to the geolocation and a lot of other factors to actually know if people went into the actual store. And I've used this objective very successfully with big brands like Whole Foods, uh, for example, and a few other in-mall and, and um, very large footprint brick and mortar uh, retailers. But most of the people probably gonna, not gonna need to use this. Now let's talk about a little bit of the other objectives, which are not necessarily as performance driven. They're more for brand advertisers, but it might be important for you as a performance advertiser, whether you're an e-com shop or doing leads, just to know how they work and in what scenarios you would use them. So I'm gonna start from the left to the right, as you can see, it says awareness. So now we're talking more top of the funnel. Now reach is gonna hit everyone and anything. You would only use reach if you were a big brand advertiser with millions of dollars and you just need to spend this money. The difference between reach and brand awareness is brand awareness is going to optimize for people most likely to remember your ad. Now, how does Facebook know this? To be honest, I'm not sure. And these are two objectives that we've wanted to test for a very long time at agencies that have been on in accounts to just see what the difference is. What I will tell you is most nine out of 10 times, if you give me a video and you wanna maximize its top of the funnel impact, I will actually not use neither of these. I would actually just use video views and optimize for through play. And what I found in my experience is that I've seen lower CPMs, so lower cost to advertise from a CPM perspective, and better brand impact. So people are more likely to remember the ad and consider the product. But again, you should always test and see what works best for you. Now, moving on, the next objective um, I wanna to touch on is traffic. Now, there's a lot of controversy around this one because people think that you should never use it. That's not true. Although I will tell you that there's a lot of scenarios that you don't wanna use traffic. Most times, if you're trying to get someone to buy on your website, you should be using conversions. But when you got a brand new website with zero data, Facebook will have no clue who will convert on your website. So in those scenarios, it makes sense to, for a small period of time, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a couple days, depending on your budget, run a traffic campaign, get people to your website, start building some data, start getting some actions, and then you pivot to conversion campaigns. Now, the next one is engagement. You would use this if you posted a, a piece of content, maybe organically, and you just want people to talk about it, or you, you have an ad that you want people to have conversation around. Maybe it's a sweepstakes you're promoting, for example. Um, most times, I would recommend probably not to use this. So we've covered most of these. Actually, we've covered them all at this point, and I just wanna basically now, after we talked about all these, conversions is probably the one you're gonna use the most. The buying type. Auction versus reach and frequency. Now auction is dynamic, meaning it's gonna give you more efficiency for your money. Reach and frequency you would only use, again, if you're a big brand advertiser, you have a ton of money and you want to make sure that your audience sees your ads, X percent of your audience, so let's say you're talking to a million people and you want 60% of them to see your ads with a particular frequency. For example, you might want them only to see your ad 
one time a week, or you might want them to see your ad four times a week. So you might have different brand goals tied to that, but most people are probably not gonna need to use this. Most people are gonna be fine with an auction and a conversion campaign if you're doing e-com lead generation and then potentially a messages if you are doing a local store and you're trying to get you know people into the store um, if you only have a small footprint. So that's an overview. Hopefully this video has been very helpful to you guys. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.